Hello there everyone and welcome back to Older Blues, A to Z series in which we are uh, playing as a Choctaw Nation currently. Um, but uh, we're doing quite a well. We're at War of the Last Patrol and we've actually been kind of grinding against them. They've actually been grinding against us actually, if anything. Um, we're doing actually very, 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 very incredibly well, which is a little surprising. But casualty so far, we lost 300 versus 4500, which is pretty decent. They've up to 17 divisions and we should be, should be, should, should, should be able to do okay against them. You are just an infantry leader, so... That should be okay. I see how we do, especially with broken their ciphers. As you can tell, we've deleted a lot of their uh, well, manpower and whatnot. So, uh, 15 divisions. Okay, 15 divisions max. That's not bad. We also have a couple other things, such as our jet systems that we found, which is great, but we're opening the library. With enough material collected, it's finally time to open the library to the public. We want everyone to be able to access these stories so they can learn from them and pass them on. The sky's the limit. The scientific prowess of the Cherokee is unmatched in the area, and nobody personifies this better than Sando. A brilliant mind like his should not be wasted. More than just gambling. You don't become the leader of a nation, a successful business empire, once without knowing what you're doing. It's more than just bright lights and the luck of the draw, of course. So, but over, I'm not super worried. I did lower the amount of divisions we have for Outriders, but we did increase them by one battalion, so. I figured, you know what, why, might as well. So, um, hopefully we just cut these guys off. That is the goal. <clears throat> very good, very good. And there you go. The opening of the library. The library opened the gates on an early Sunday afternoon. There were more than people just waiting, more people than we anticipated waiting at the gates, but that's a good thing. It was not a good thing are the less savory people dispersed among the waiting public. We want that knowledge stored in this building to be enjoyed by as many people as possible, but we can't help but fear that may, some may abuse what was found with them. Maybe we should reconsider our stance. Some form of library pass could work, coupled with a quick questionnaire before handing it out. Just to address some of the particulars of the bad folks. You know, the library is meant for all. Oh, that's not bad, that's pretty good. Just some harmless questions. Oh, we'll do this one. It's meant for all. And more naval stuff, because we totally need it. In the meantime, more than just gambling, of course, and then, uh, gateway to the Plains Commonwealth. Lone Star's long dominated the trade in what used to be the Texas Commonwealth. It's hard to compete with them in their chosen arena. But what we can do is become the gateway, the middleman for the trade between Texas and the Plains Commonwealth, Kansas City. The scavenger haven of Great Bend, Junction City. Everyone who wants to trade in that will have to go through us. De Deus ex machina. Well, it's clear that Diana <clears throat> is no god or higher spirit, but a ghost of a woman trapped in the metal shell. The similarities of one of our ancient legends are too big to ignore. She herself claims no knowledge of the story, but some people are doubtful. Was there some intervention of a higher being trying to guide us in her, or is it just an attempt to get another outside force trying to control our people? We may never know, but we probably will in the end. Special forces. Nice. Might as well. Um, can we increase this at all, maybe? No, dang it. Well, once the war's over, we'll decrease how big these divisions are. Or just decrease how many divisions we actually have in general. Yeah, we're doing very well. We cut off almost 7,000. And we're also just fighting on the scrap scrappers combat, too, so... Overall, we should be pretty good. There's a lot of things here. Probably portable radios? Yeah, that's what I thought. But we do we should have some casts. We'll do some, oh, some fighters here first, I guess. Uh, more fighters? Yeah, nice. And actually some decent casts. I'll do that real quick. There you go. Uh, you go there. You go there. And then you go there. Yeah, we should have them. Oh, one more. Now we got them. Hey, should just let the pass go. But truth be told, if you don't know me, my god, letting go can be so freaking hard. That's not to get into the personal stories now. Um, let's see, you go there, you go there, you just kind of hold, hang out, hold out, you know the good stuff. You, I'm actually going to destroy probably this division, see if we can actually edit these divisions so they can be a little thicker, because I like them thick. If they're not thick, we don't want them. You know, screw it, I'll delete another one too if I have to. I'd rather have them at least 18 combo than anything else. You guys go right there. Nice. Happy out of December, everybody. Go and shove them in. We're almost done with the line doctor. We've got two more left, which is not bad. Uh, we only start coring some stuff. And how much money do we have? Not much. Not much at all, do we? We're not getting out a month. That's very bad, actually. Of course, we've been doing a lot of this, too, so. If we were to go to war with Texas. We get another trade node. We get a lot of trade nodes. And we're actually almost done with the just flying, which is pretty good overall, so. Not bad, I'd say. Not bad overall. 
doing okay. Do we need any more ground control? Here? No, we got 2200, which is awesome. Plenty of horses. Motorized vehicles could use a spot of help, but you know, whatever. It's pretty normal. Pretty darn normal. Sky's the limit, though. More than just gambling? Oh, look at this. Well, you might as well. Legends of old. I still want that medicine man. We did go to Wasteland Militias because we could really use them, but whatever. What is this? No, we should still be pretty good about that. Support the people. We haven't even done that one at all yet. So. Thirty percent, six percent. Sure, why not? And how far are we going? Yes, level eight. Good. So we do the other one and increase our node. There you go. Painted rock, maybe next. Hundred fifty days, my god, that is so long. They don't attack us, unfortunately. Because we have to attack them. Uh, do we have their sniper though? No, we don't. That sucks. Should do fine here, especially unless we're moving from here. FG's not great, but. We should be doing a decent amount of damage. There you go. Should be able to push through with that at least. Nice. Making some civvies, making some millies, you know, all good stuff all around. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Well, Legion's doing very well. Very, very well. Wow. Legion's doing pretty well, too. Just trying to crush them all, that's all. Watch out for spies. Good, good, good. Oh, you're not doing very much here. At this point, I must have one solid front line. There you go. Have fun with them. You know, we need more manpower, of course, but what else is new? Because eventually I do want to core this. It's going to take a little bit of time, though. Oh, they're actually taking us. Look at that. Go figure. More than just gambling, because after that, we're going to do Gateway to the Plains Commonwealth, which I think I read last time, or earlier, actually, this episode. So, let's see a Sequoia, which would be great. Three days left, not bad. And there we go. Go on in. Have a fun time. How can you not win there, man? Supplies are really lacking here, boy. Oof. Because there's a trade node right there. There's one right here, which is good, too. And we got him. Beautiful. Now, next. What are we going to do against painted rock? Rocks that are painted? Probably. That'd probably be very good overall. I might throw in the fast with justification war mod too, just because it could take forever to do this, but State of Sequoia. Turns out that when we settled the era, we more or less claimed all the territories of the State of Sequoia. In a unif United Native American government that was proposed almost 300 years ago, but never came to fruition. Better late than never? Defenders of history? Pursuit of preserving. History and knowledge is a worthy goal. Unlucky for us, it's not an easy task within the wasteland. We needed people that are willing and equipped to protect what we have acquired. The Applied Sciences and Engineering Wing. Not only collectors of knowledge in the Federation, the Cherokee Council for Science and Engineering has been doing it for about as long as we have, even though they do focus more on the technical aspect than the historical importance. This wing is an attempt at exchanging of knowledge between our storytellers and their archivists. The Pet External Library. With the opening of a shared higher place of learning, the need for resources of knowledge has grown. The External Library for the Plains Commonwealth Institute of Technology is a collection of books, magazines, solitapes, and microfilms specifically organized for the courses offered at the Institute. She was a wisdom. Wisdom is a shield protecting us from the darkness of ignorance, but sometimes you need actual shields to protect you from what comes out of darkness. Also guns, those up too, in the basement. While we encourage people to access the library, there are certain objects that we deem too dangerous for the average citizen. For this purpose, we have constructed a special secure storage vault in the basement of the library. But most people don't even know where the library is a basement, and that's for better for everybody. A living history. We have an opportunity that very few people had access to. Among us walk some that have experienced more history than any single man or woman before. Some call them ghouls, some, but what we, to us is a living history filled with stories, stories worth being told, and ghoul immigrants. 
Many decides of the way some be ghouls with fear or hate. We all know the animal. We welcome them with open arms. The place will be a safe haven. And we're, we're back, ready to go to war with painted rocks. Oh, wait, we already are at war with painted rocks. So we should do okay. Maybe not stupendous, but we'll do okay. We're only lacking a lot of manpower, but we're saving up political power just so we can course up eventually later on, which would be a good thing for everybody here. But uh, what else have we got around here? Anything else? Terrain, heavyweight. Uh, I'm more attack. It ain't much, but it's an honest attack. Lacking a lot of manpower. It's unfortunate, I know. Hey, and it's like beautiful. More army XP? Beautiful. So are these considered light horses? Yeah. Good. Workum is nice. A brush gun, it's a bit too ahead of time. Go with that. Nice, nice. And we got him. Beautiful. Yeah, I'll go that one. So now I've been just fine on these guys. I don't know how well it's gonna go. But hey, as long as they don't naval invade us, we'll be okay, right? At least that's a hope. Because it's pretty cheap to go to war with them, but you never know. We can go to war by the 6th of September, which is more than enough time. More, more, more than enough time. We'll do that too, because we can. And then we're going to add you here too. And then we could probably use a few more things of this. Watch out for spies, that'd be good. Nope. And we just have no money. We get almost 19 a month, but that's just not enough. Picks in our library. The basement. Might as well. Basements are nice, I guess. You know, I guess we should really focus more on Oklahoma than anything else, but whatever. Uh, where are we at? Ah, it's maxed out. Good. So let's go and save. This might get very disastrous for us, but, you know, that's why we're playing, right? <sighs> do I actually do anything here? So we're going to call the allies in. This might take a long time to do this appropriately. Let's start beefing up their defenses more, unfortunately. We'll do that too. Let's go to two. They might attack us, they might not. We'll have to wait and see. What if I said half you guys, like, leave? Would they attack us then? Maybe not. Okay, then. Let's send them some more. Because the horses are fast enough. I'm not super concerned about them. Oh, hello. There you go. Send about half you guys away, maybe. Steel technology, it's good. There you go. Just a little bit. Just get get him started thinking about beating us up. Basement. Uh, Shields of Wisdom, yes, that would be pretty nice too. No, they really don't want to attack us, do they? Well, that's alright. You know what? They really don't want to attack us. We might go through the Cypher War Band. We'll see. Once they unite everyone together here, That'd be one solid nation. That'd be, be, be potentially a little easier to attack, potentially. So we'll have to deal with that too. Um, honestly, this one seems okay. I don't want just one nuke. Honestly, the events, the thing is here like, based on the quality of the printed paper, it's unlikely that this pamphlet ever saw commercial distribution. But it's not undermine the legitimacy of its content. Volunteers agreed to go through the program outlined in the pamphlet and show remarkable abilities like precognition and farsight. Those that survive, that is. So they really don't want to attack, do they? Oh, they're attacking over there, which is good. And oh, now they're attacking us too. As they should. As they absolutely should. Neighbor apartment stuff now. Nice. We're getting close, 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 close. We're out of getting all that stuff. Let's do this one. Gives a little more recovery and hardness, so it helps us with defense and whatnot. So that'll be desirable. So they're attacking us there. They're not really attacking us here. Get rid of one more. Hopefully they can attack these guys soon. If not, oh well. And then we'll do that too. And war measures. Uh, looking manpower, blue stability. That's all worth. Not worth doing. Drastic measures. Actually, follow the pop-ups. They uh, I guess monthly population, and they brought back the whole civilian workshop. So the devs have actually brought that back, which is kind of interesting. It's actually pretty useful, honestly. Maybe you need to do that, that's fine. Losses, not too many losses. Well, they lost 2,000, but... No, not really against us. Which sucks. 
Logan's giving him a run for the money, so. Yeah, actually, I might just combine this into a different group. Attack through here and here and here and then open up another front. That might actually honestly be worth it. But, hopefully I keep coring more stuff, because my god, it's taking forever to core stuff. Uh, oh, Casino Eris. Eh. Way to the land. Meh. Legends of old. Medicine man, that'd be nice. There you go. There you go. Or probably Gano, you can do that one, why not? Shields of Wisdom are good. ESP and you. We did talk about that. Uh, food for thought. We need to be prepared to provide food for all of our new citizens. It'll take some time until they're properly settled in, even before that, and after that after period, a stronger food production will be beneficial to us. Integrity of the home. We will understand how many ghouls would answer the call we sent out. We need more accommodations of fast. At this point, it might be easier to build new homes in a decent location than trying to fix them in an existing place. Old spirits of a new world. Maybe we're all legends hold wisdom that's even now is more needed than ever if we're to survive in the harsh environment. Kashehotalpalo. Our chips need to be as agile and swift as Kashehotalpalo in the forest so we can strike and return on scene. Naloza Chito. A creature made of shadows that's so frightening that I can even speak in its name would enable it to eat your soul. Let us be it like it to our enemies. Let everyone who wishes us harm fear our name. Kaui Anukashia. Small spirits of the forest help guiding your medicine man of the past. While the sprawling forests of our ancestors are long gone, the descendants of the medical uh, men, medicine men, I want to stop by Kaui Anukasha, and I vibe before continued survival. The results are in. Uh, so we did some tests with some catastrophic results. There was an inappropriate amount of exploding heads, but some people follow the steps of the path has shown. Uh, <clears throat> And it showed a lot of promise. We got a bunch of minor abilities out of it. Some got precognition, but rarely more than a day's worth using unusually only inconsequential information, like, you'll pet a dog tomorrow. It'll bark at you and wag its tail. Although, some of the tests were away by the rest, we should decide who to focus on uh, and spend our limited resources on. A tap of the pyrotechnic, a pyrokinetic. Tends to burn things down and, uh, at random around him by a point, point him and our enemies in Oxel. Koi, the empath. Uh, is unassuming. Just a wander and a scavenger makes him perfect for gaining information from our enemies. What's we'll do with Mr. Fire? Mr. Fire. Oh, look at that. Pyromaniac. Well, that's different. Oh, we need demo teams then. We need definitely need some demo teams then. Oh, boy. And we're still here, everyone, trying to, uh, well, win this stupid war. Uh, but we've got some focuses we should probably talk about. We're out of manpower, for the most part. I guess we have 500 right now, which is okay. It's not superb. We've got help needed, of course. Well, I didn't manage to clear up the rivers. It was neither quick nor easy. We lost a good amount of men. They didn't stay far enough away from what they looked below the surface. Clearly, we're less prepared than we thought. We should look for help. How's the new gold town next? It took a while, but managed to establish a completely new settlement from the ground up to house all the incoming ghouls. For many ghouls, it'll only be a place short of rest before they find another place in their existing settlements, but we hope that for many, it'll be something more they call home. A tattered man. Among many immigrants, uh, once no doubt, every piece of his skin was tattooed with words and images. He himself said that he had wandered for a very long time and doesn't remember his own name anymore. People tend to just call him the Tattooed Man wherever he goes. He sparks the imagination of others when he tells stories he's experienced himself or heard on the travels. Guided by the spirits. Ooh, that's not bad. Intentional manipulation. Huh. Well, let's probably a good guide by the spirits. Out of many lengthy debates and comparisons with a story of the unknown woman and related legends, we decided Diana speaks the truth, and she actually has no knowledge of the story itself. As a play with something else, something higher, I was at work like, to bring her people together. So, yeah. We got all this over here getting done. Uh, we're always running out of manpower, and they're always attacking us over here, too. That's definitely a struggle against the Brotherhood. But, oh, losses and whatnot. Oh, let's do this first real quick. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Explosives. Trying to try acquire more territory and whatnot, you know. As they're attacking us over near Lone Star. So we're doing okay overall. Not great, but we're doing okay. Vampire's nice. Uh, an evening of stories. It has become uh, sort of a ritual for many Choctaw of all ages to gather in Ghoul Town. The tattooed man is going to tell some of his stories. Everyone tends to know exactly where these gatherings happen despite their regularity. And there are no, no discernible announcements. The useless, or nameless Choctaw. This evening, the tattooed man... Uh, retold his tale of the name of Choctaw, son of chief from before a smoke of fire, though something is different about how he tells the story. The hunter and the alligator. Hunter and the alligator. The alligator may look wood, but it's a dangerous beast. Uh, bind its feet so it cannot scratch, and its mouth so it cannot bite. The girl and the devil. A devil stalks the roads to the south of us. She's sharpening his knives, just waiting for his prey. Once I'll with him so no more people will fall to him. That sounds pretty good overall, too. Yeah, they just love attacking. And what do they want to attack? Let him attack. Mississippi Queen. Oh, look at this one. Mississippi is a teacher. She moves wildly like a dancer. Bakik with wine. She demands much, but she also gives much. We should be wise to listen to what she asks. Cool. Sure. 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 Sure and sure. We're going to need quite a bit of this, ain't we? Yes, sir. Oh, what else we got here? We got some of this. That's nice. We got some of this. 
Push your forces stuff, it's nice. Um, down, bound in chains. Say what you will about the Gator Malls practicing along the Mississippi. They ought to put them, have them down pat. Uh, efficient and effective. And considering we have a lot of them in prison right now, we could turn them into chain gangs, building harbor facilities and ships for us. Poetic justice? We think so. Shreveport Roads. Shreveport used to be a trade hub along, hub along the wild go, before the devil that called himself the wild one took over. So many intact roads that we can use now that desperados don't drive along them anymore. Maybe we can even get her to some trade with these paths again. The monster below the temple. Ooh. The story the tattooed man tells is one we've not heard before. He tells of a monster living below a place of faith. The monster, having grown larger and larger over the years, cannot leave his lair anymore, so he sent out his brutish minions to capture and enslave his people of the surrounding area until a brave warrior defeated him in a battle of wits. False knights. Oh, look at this. Everyone knows of the Brotherhood of Steel. They came from the west and sat down in many places along the way, but not many know about the other ironclad in similar armor. This order predated the Brotherhood by many, 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 many years, and while the Brotherhood may not always be friendly, they use false knights to mean trouble wherever they appear. Yeah, we still have any money. Uh, they're attacking us? They might be. Well, that's a good look. Oh, no, they ain't done attacking. Um, we're out of fire teams, which sucks, but we are making them now, which is good. Fortifications might be really good for us to get as well. Because they did throw fire teams on here, so. Recon. Let's go throw some recon. I'll throw the fire. Oh, we had enough army XP, we would, but we don't. We just don't. Up next, we'll probably go here or here. Maybe the core stuff. We'll see. It doesn't help they did not become the state's Koya yet, of course. And I still gotta do some of these two. Train hunters? Look at that. The way that requires more work is we're training people specifically for tracking and hunting down all them critters. They may not be ready immediately, but it'll pay off in the long run. And bought for mercs. Uh, the quick way of doing it is spend a good amount of money getting someone else to do the job for us from now on. These are. they are hardy enough, and welcome folks coming through the area looking for work. Some of them are probably willing to patrol the rivers. The rivers of commerce. Fishing and trade along the rivers was key to survival, with uh, the wild ways being a lot safer now, we can bath them into. Investing them more to get the most out of use out of them. Expand a river fleet. Description. The river's only one big advantage. We can't really stop other people from using them too. So to prevent someone from just sealing up the riverside and stealing their stuff and burning it down, we need to build some defenses there too. Makes sense to me. Makes a whole lot of sense. More recon, nice. Tattoo tap tattoo van. So where are we at? Eighteen thousand. Um uh, manpower wise, where are you guys at? 2,000, so they're pretty chunky still. And they're still pretty chunky as well. we got a while until we get all these guys covered off. An evening of stories. Slowly getting there, slowly but surely. But I'll keep reading a couple more focuses, such as... Wings of Thunder and Lightning. The legends tell two giant birds building their nests among the clouds, leaving sparks across the sky, being responsible for thunder and lightning. The story was told long before the advent of aircraft, but now we can even be at home in the skies as these birds were. Well, we already have Malatha. It can strike fast light and outpace any other bird in the sky. We should endeavor to build our plants so we can do the same. But, Heloha. The rumbling of thunders, Heloha is egg rolling around the clouds. The rumbling of our plants is produced is the impact of bombs among our enemies. So that's not bad. Of course, we do the same story too. Uh, for us, we're historians here. Support city dwellers. Plant housing. I kind of want to support the city dwellers. <laughs> city dwellers are more in line with the goal of a strong unified nation. The game fair with them comes mostly down to shaking the right hands, making the right promises, reclaim the skyscrapers. In the city dwellers live, as the name suggests, in the cities, very few of the pre-war skyscrapers and high rises are actually inhabited. It's due to the often dreadful state of especially their upper floors, 200 years of the elements beating on those buildings just to lay to missing walls, class fours, and various other issues. If we fix just some of them, we'll open up a lot of space for further ventures. Absolutely. So, um, I don't think we can actually attack them here, can we? We could try. Yeah, we're actually doing relatively okay against them. Keep their our stuff, huh? I'm, I'm very surprised they have not attacked over the river. I'm very surprised. Oh, now they're attacking us too. Don't you hold. You'll be the main defense against them right now. Because if we attack, they're going to really butcher the crap out of us. Oh, God. We're running out of things to build. So let's build the crap out of air bases. Because this is basically the last enemy we really want to beat up. In all honesty. Go. Got all that to build. Uh, more roads. We're gonna need more arms uh, workshops and whatnot. So let's say more political power too. That's always good to get. Research speed. Thank you. We're a little behind everybody else, but whatever. Yeah, the brother is really trying. Really, 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 really trying. 
Oh, we can do that one, because why not? Do we really need more another civvy? One's population is not bad, but it doesn't really help us out that much. So I didn't even have stories. I guess we got the political power for this. Ah, yeah. That'd be nice to have. More recon, good. The name was chalked a slightly different tale. I kind of wonder what, what, what that one is like. Can we attack anywhere else? Ooh, we can take the radar. That'd be actually really good. Oh, we should all hold instead. Sounds a little cartel, huh? It's weird, but okay. Nice. If we can get the r r radar station, I think that would really help us out. Because right now we're doing any damage, we're doing about 22 units of damage. It ain't bad. It ain't bad whatsoever, but it could be more. I need all y'all to go like right here. That's a lot of planes, I know, but still. Um, I don't think we should do that. Oopsie, wrong one. This costs us quite a bit of manpower to do this, but whatever. I'll oh, screw it, do it anyways. Uh, no desirables, rate of conscripts, meh. Two your conscription. Screw it, we need the manpower. Can you actually win here? The real test. Make stuff nice. Don't need it at all. Can you guys do anything here? We could try a small attack if we really wanted to. We got demo teams and people like that on our, on our guys. And do we have any air superiority? Yep, a little bit. Yeah, we're doing a hefty amount of damage. We might just be able to pull it off, maybe. Maybe. Do we lose a division here? We might have. More manpower? Yeah, that'd be good. Nope. And we can't quite core stuff, which is unfortunate, but whatever. God dang it. Just go and hold for now. Yes. You might just be able to win here, maybe. Uh, what happened here? Oh, that makes sense. Oh, Shinikis. I send you guys down. You should be fine with that. No more organization. Slightly, slightly, slightly more organization would be good. Well, at least we didn't lose anything, yeah, but it's definitely costing us a lot. We've lost 2,000 already, my god. These guys really good on attack. Defense, not so much, but attack? Oh, yeah. Secret Burger, there's that one. I mean, they want to attack. It's a slightly different tale. On this evening, the Tattooed Man tells the story that the name is Chalk, a well known tale among the people. The version of the Tattooed Man tells differs in a very particular way from the most common versions. Instead of an escape from the Osage following a fantastical year long journey uh, aided by Wolf, the Tattooed Man describes in vivid detail how the name was Chalk fought against the Osage Warband. The warrior fought with reckless abandon, expecting to die that day, overcome by the number of his enemies. Vision blurred from exhaustion and the pain caused by many wounds, the Chalk finally collapses, anticipating a lethal blow to come, but nothing of that sort happens. Tattooed man tells of how the name is Warrior woke the next morning to find himself surrounded by the bodies of the Osage. Slain by him in rage. Still worried from this fight, he makes a track back to his tribe only to find the village destroyed by a large warband of the same Osage tribe in the way he in the time he was away. Searching for his loved one in the ruins, he finds her body in the burned out husk of her family's dwelling. The tattooed man stands up from his usual seat, finishing the tale rather abruptly, then raptured listeners pleaded him to tell him what happened to the warrior. He answered briskly, he started wandering, remaining nameless. A tale full of excitement. Ooh. Built to destroy, a tale full of sorrow, skilled. What is built to destroy or sorrow? Oh, look at this guy. He's intelligent. Built to destroy. I don't see it. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. He's built to destroy. More tag less defense? Well, I guess that would make sense in the end. And here we're out still grinding, but at this point, we're actually doing okay. We're slowly pushing in, actually, through... Lone Star, as well as the tube heads, which actually did I? 
Don't want to do that too. Uh, there we go. Uh, we're, as always, we're running out of manpower, but what else is new here? Always, always, always running out of manpower. Hope oh, we got the two bets. Good. Very good. Um, slowly going to tell everybody to start just attacking like crazy. Um, ooh. Hey, there goes Lone Star too. Awesome. Awesome. But overall, this has been just extremely grindy. Oh my lord, it's a grind fest. Munch below the temple, of course, and then, oh yeah, you don't have to tell you. Guided by spirits, we'll be doing that too. Um, there it is. So go on in, y'all. See what you can do. See what you can muster up. Mustard. Let them all go in now at this point. We should have them done very soon. The Chack Tile Nation. There you go. Overall, not bad. It's just, like I said, extremely grindy. Brother losing control in Texas, as they should. Say, so y'all go here. Yeah, very many of these guys, but now I can see you guys over here too. But yeah, they have only 46 divisions left. I lost 24,000 manpower, which is not bad. It could be better, but you know, whatever. At this point, I'm not too concerned. I mean, we should be doing some extreme damage. 40's not enough. 60's not enough. Yeah, that's not enough. Okay, we're not doing extreme damage. Darn it. <laughs> Darn it. But as we take more territory, we get more manpower, which is kind of weird. But you know what? I ain't gonna complain about that. Why would I? Why should I? Lafayette? Nice. Very good. Give us everything we deserve, man. Followers, local agent recruitment, don't really care about that. Fort Hood? Actually, hey, there we got him. Look at that. I guess we'll take their stuff, too. Wow. What do they have, like, a, one screening ship? Maybe three, max? Yeah, call it a three. Oh, we got just auto bypass. Nice. Um, here, do that. Uh, basic weaponry is pretty easy to get. And do that, too. Wow. We're looking very chalk tall. Not gonna lie. Guided by spirits. We got some of these to do as well, so. We'll get through these. We'll do the state of Sequoia, and then we'll kind of call it a campaign, probably. And, well, everyone, we're here. State of Sequoia. Um, we took out a lot of Texas. We actually have more than enough manpower, finally. And, uh, yeah, Lanius wants to go to war with us, and he took over for the Legion, so. That's a really freaking huge Lanius. Probably, honestly, one of the biggest Laniuses I've ever seen. Hey, we're still the Great Plains Federation, though. It's cool. Uh, hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, though, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.